Here's more wrestling news for September 19th, 2022. And we're starting off this afternoon with Christopher Daniels, who in addition to being AEW's head of talent relations, also wrestles for the company, the latest in a long list of promotions for the Fallen Angel. In addition to AEW, Daniels has competed for Impact, ROH, WWE, WCW, Chikara, AAA, and many other promotions, but his days in the ring are numbered. On Twitter, Daniels said he may be the only person to work for all these veteran promotions, adding that he is getting close to the end of the in-ring part of his wrestling life. Daniels didn't say when he plans on hanging up his boots for good, but his in-ring appearances have become more sporadic, with his last televised AEW match being in July this year, where he lost to Jay Lethal. Having made his wrestling debut in 1993, Daniels has had a rich, long career and found success in many companies, but it'll soon be time for the fallen angel to lace up his boots for the final time. Speaking of veterans in AEW, CM Punk has been a huge figure of controversy as of late after his explosive comments at All Out and the backstage fight during the media scrum. Punk, like many others, have been removed from AEW programming over what happened, and we now have more information on his reception within the company. During PW Torch's audio stream, Wade Keller spoke about Punk and the Young Bucks, saying that for whatever flaws the brothers may have, Punk is seen as worse. The Bucks are not seen as abrasive personalities. Passive-aggressive, yes, there's some aspects of that. They're not seen as People who don't like Punk have more negative things to say than people who don't like the Bucks have to say about them in terms of their characterization. While well, Punk and the Bucks have been removed, there has been talk that Punk could be fired, which isn't the case for the Bucks. Tony Khan will have to wait until after the ongoing investigation to decide what to do with his problematic former world champion, who remains to be disliked within AEW. In February, Claudio Castagnoli parted ways with WWE after over a decade with the company and close to a decade on the main roster. Despite the cries of fans, WWE never gave Castagnoli that main event push, but he was able to save someone else's career with WWE before his own came to an end. Sitting down with Insight, Castagnoli spoke with Chris Van Vliet and said that while in FCW, WWE weren't too interested in Mike Dalton, the man who would go on to become Tyler Breeze. Castagnoli explained that all this changed when they faced off September 22, 2011, and when Claudio delivered an uppercut which Dalton sold incredibly, it increased the promotion's interest in the future Prince Pretty. Instead of being let go, Dalton remained with WWE for another decade before his release last year, so fans who enjoyed Tyler Breeze, his antics with Fandango, and his vain personality have the ROH World Champion to thank. Over the years, several WWE superstars have made it big in the world of acting, with John Cena, The Rock, and Dave Bautista becoming even bigger names after the ring. Now, Kofi Kingston is looking to take his own steps into the world of acting and is hoping to do so with a huge project from Marvel. Speaking to TMZ, the former WWE champion expressed a desire to be a part of the as-yet-untitled Black Panther series, which will be coming to Disney Plus in the future. Kingston has said that he's already from the motherland, referring to Africa, which in Marvel continuity is home to the fictional nation of Wakanda, where the Black Panther is king. For Kofi, the only thing better than being part of Marvel Studios would be if he could get the entire New Day involved, and we imagine that fellow nerds Xavier Woods and Big E would jump at the opportunity. While Kofi has a few non-WWE acting credits to his name, even appearing for College Humor in 2017, he's yet to appear for Marvel, but after holding up Thor's hammer during a recent episode of SmackDown, that could all change for the veteran superstar. Now at Extreme Rules, SmackDown's women's champion Liv Morgan will defend her title against Ronda Rousey in what has been confirmed to be an Extreme Rules match. Morgan is the only WWE superstar to hold multiple wins over Rousey, albeit controversial wins, with her first coming after Rousey had had a match, and her second win came thanks to some bad officiating. Rousey is looking to break this streak next month and is expected to do just that. According to BetOnline.com, the betting odds indicate that Rousey is the heavy favorite to win the title, while Morgan is the underdog. Morgan won't be able to rely on a countout or disqualification to save her title, and it looks like the clock is about to strike midnight on the reigning SmackDown Women's Champions Cinderella story. 
It was during this week's SmackDown that Morgan had a face-to-face -face with Rousey, where the two agreed that their premium live event title match will be contested under Extreme Rules. It's now being reported, though, that this segment isn't what WWE had planned, as Fightful reports that Morgan was set for a segment with damage control before plans changed. SmackDown saw damage control appear, as Bayley bragged that the stable, now holding the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships, can do whatever they want. It's unclear why Morgan was set to appear in a segment with the group, or what she would have done, or even why the decision was made to change the card. Perhaps Morgan and Damage Control will share the screen one day, as with Bayley the only member without a title, it could be that she's got her sights set on Liv's title if the plucky champion survives Ronda Rousey. We've got news from Logan Paul now, as while some fans don't agree with him challenging Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel, the match is certainly a huge deal. Paul has millions of fans around the world and billions upon billions of views on YouTube, and now also has the respect of Triple H. During the recent WWE press conference for Crown Jewel, Triple H has said that Logan has proven himself in the company, adding, Logan was totally different. Logan was a guy that came in, talked to us about it, and as soon as we talked to him about doing something, man, he started to put in the work. When I saw him in the ring for the first time, he blew my mind. I saw him do it again, after that blew my mind. This is the guy, as I said earlier, earned my respect. In this business, I do not give my respect very easily. He has earned that, and it is why he is here. Logan may have the respect of the King of Kings, but it'll take much more than that to defeat Roman Reigns, who Triple H praised during the press conference, saying no one is even close to touching the level the Tribal Chief is on. Reigns vs. Paul, despite some fan gripes, is a huge marketing opportunity for WWE, and no matter what the result, Logan will have earned the respect of Triple H, and we imagine plenty more after Crown Jewel. During his AEW All Out Media Scrum rant, CM Punk decided to rip on his former best friend Colt Cabana, who Punk ridiculed for sharing a bank account with his mother. Even before Punk's comments, there had been talk about Cabana, who has been used much less on AEW programming in recent months. It had previously been reported that CM Punk was responsible for this, but when asked about his situation during a Twitch stream, Cabana called it an odd question. When asked to press further, Cabana remained coy, saying that his checks still read AEW, and that's all he can really say. While Cabana has all but vanished from AEW programming, he is expected to be a part of Ring of Honor if Tony Khan can get the promotion a decent TV distribution deal. Despite claims that Punk was responsible for Cabana vanishing from TV, those claims have been refuted, but we'll have to wait and see when, if ever, he's back on AEW TV. Now, the last time fans saw Trish Stratus was on the August 22nd Raw in her hometown, where she was confronted by damage control. Many fans were hoping that Trish would get physical during the show, but if the seven-time women's champion has a match left in her, it won't be happening soon. Last night, Trish wrote a lengthy post on Instagram, noting she'd been dealing with stomach pains, which turns out was due to a ruptured appendix. Trish said how she'd worked through the pain throughout a 10-hour travel day, but the pain got so intense that she had to drive herself to the emergency room. Thankfully, Trish was able to have surgery just in time, as a ruptured appendix can cause serious problems to the body, and we're wishing the WWE Hall of Famer a very speedy recovery. We've got news from New Japan now, as tonight was supposed to be the promotion's Burning Spirit show, but that won't be going ahead. It's been confirmed that the Burning Spirit won't be happening due to the current weather conditions in Japan, as a typhoon continues to batter the nation. This is the second show in a row to be cancelled, as last night's event was also cut due to Typhoon Nanmadal, which has made contact with Japan's Kyushu Island, forcing citizens to evacuate. A stacked card had been promoted for tonight's event, but these matches will have to be scrapped or rescheduled, and we certainly hope that everyone keeps safe from the ongoing typhoon. And we're ending with WWE, as when superstars step into the ring, they know the risks they're getting themselves into, but it's not just the wrestlers who will leave the squared circle worse for wear. Often, referees are expected to take bumps in the ring as part of the story, but what happened at a recent live event wasn't planned. One match saw Drew McIntyre team with the New Day to face Imperium, but this was bad news for Charles Robinson. The veteran referee was officiating the bout, 
Drew lifted Ludwig Kaiser onto his shoulders and spun him around, and the German superstar accidentally booted Robinson square in the face. Despite this, Robinson continued the match and later took to Twitter to say that Drew McIntyre is a beast and that Kaiser's big foot seriously hurt. Having refereed for decades, the man known as Little Nate has taken plenty of bumps, but what happened this past weekend was not meant to be part of the show. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.